He's a little bit raw, but has immense physical tools. Speaking of immense, that weight they're carrying, 495 pounds in the duck walk position. Now they move on to the first barrel, Kaz. This is for 10 meters, and it's 220 pounds. It's full of water. That's got to be so awkward. Okay. Sloshing everywhere. Really tough to hold on to. The hard part, finding a handle. It's the white knob at the bottom. They can't let go of it. Both men struggling now with the second barrel, 245 pounds. Bergman trying to get a lead. He does so on Scoob. Trying to get to the finish line. You have to place it over the line, and Scoob does just that. So Ricard Scoob just edges out Jason Bergman, who is still trying to finish the okay. course, and finally does so. Scoob's time, 38.91 seconds, becomes the time to beat. For Jason Bergman, a very disappointing 45.04 seconds. We'll see how that stands up. Terry Hollins of England was a finalist a year ago, and now he's considered a legitimate threat to win the whole thing. Terry's massive. He's got the height, bulk, strength, and speed. What more could you want? The old-timer in this group is Magnus Samuelsson, the 1998 champion from Sweden. If Magnus can stay healthy, he can dominate these young guys. Last year, Ravis Vizis of Latvia reached the World's Strongest Man final in just his second appearance. This is somewhat undersized, but it's tough to match his hunger and intensity. That weight, 495 pounds. These athletes must carry at 10 meters, and Terry Holland's off to a great start. First man to the first barrel, that's 220 pounds. It is full of water, so it's extremely awkward, and Magnus Samuelson really struggling. It's hard to find the handle. I think he just bear hugged it. It's so awkward, with the water sloshing around. This is a very tough event. Time to beat 38.91. Terry Hollins pushing towards the finish line. Here comes Ravis Vincent, and it's Terry Hollins who will win the medley with a time of 31.32 seconds. Vids is close behind, and Samuelson still on course, struggling to try and cross the finish line. One of the strongest grips of the game, desperately trying to find the handle on this barrel. Okay. And he stops the clock at 48.66, but there is your winner of the medley, Terry Hollins, 31.52 seconds. Ravis Vidzis gets a second place time of 32.59, a very strong start for him. Terry Hollins had a few missteps, but he did enough to hold off Ravis Vidzis to pick up the victory in the first event. The winner is with Kaz. Terry, that was a blistering pace. Yeah, I was fairly happy with the time. Um, perhaps could have been a bit quicker on the duck walk, but did enough to win the event, and I'm pleased with the win, obviously. Well, great start. Good luck. Thanks very much. Terry Hollings gets his qualifying campaign off to a great start, earning five points. Ravis Vidzis gets second, Ricard Scoob third, Jason Bergman in fourth, and Magnus Samuelson in fifth. When the Metrics World's Strongest Man returns, we'll have the Fingle Fingers. The battle for the last two positions in the final is on.